Anthony from a stroke and played 75 plays. So, I mean, it's, it's just... Made the first tackle on a reverse, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if the coaches feel like you're ready to go, you're going to get a little nod from the trainer. Is he 100% ready to go? And they're going to throw him in there. And I think it was just telling by the first, you know, completion was to Julian Edelman. That's just what he does. Um, I mean, Lou, you're talking about the defenses and... That's just, I mean, even the Colts were able to move the ball up and down the field, you know, on the Patriot yeah. defense. I mean, I think our defense is better than the Chiefs defense in terms of finishers who can finish the game in the fourth quarter because from the 20 to 20, they're going to move. Who's going to play situationally the best on third down in the red area? And in the fourth quarter with five minutes left, who's going to get that turnover? Flowers, is it Chung? Is it McCordy? The way they were able to get the turnovers last game. I mean, that's what's going to be the answer defensively. That's how the NFL, NFL defense is played now. Yeah, so, not, so not having a great defense right now, and you're a defensive player, is that a problem in this league? I mean, you look at the passing, you look at the numbers so far, Teddy. They're off the charts. Are we talking about maybe seeing teams that go deep into the postseason right now? They can't stop other teams, but they just put 40-plus up on the board. And... Right, and they give their offenses extra possessions by taking the ball away. I think that's what defense is always sort of tilted to now um, in terms of making that big play and situationally making a play because of what the best defenses also had an element of was intimidation. And that sort of intimidation aspect of football for defenders is gone in terms of you can't scare a quarterback anymore. You can't hit him in a way where he knows his life's in jeopardy. <laughs> you can't scare the receivers either. No. And you can't do right. You can't hit them. You can't do that to the receivers either. So it's a different it's a different sort of mentality rather than I mean, how often do you see I mean the alligator arms anymore? I mean you used to see yeah. that a lot when you when we had guys in our defenses playing that when we could set that tone and hit people like that. So defenders just can't do that anymore, so you have to adjust. Yeah, when you when you, if, if you were coming out of college, do you think it, based on the way the NFL is going now, do you think it would have stayed uh, defensive end? I mean, or do you think you still would have been moved to linebacker? Because safety. Probably, I mean, probably maybe more. Yeah, probably more of a situational pass rusher, which is what they started me out as. You know, for the first couple years. I mean, rushing Brett Favre in the Super Bowl. I think it was Super Bowl Thirty One. So things like that. Um, the every down linebacker really is now someone that's going to be. You know, a lot lighter and a lot uh, faster, a lot quicker. You got it like Dale Buchanan, Mark Barron, those type of linebackers where it's sort of trending to. You still have, you know, the Keekleys of the world, the Bobby Wagners of the world that, that can do it every single down. But uh, you got to be a special, special athlete to be playing every down as a linebacker. Yeah, so like the Ted Johnsons of the world, the LeVon Kirkland's of the world, those guys, no, ice, no more ISO blocks. I mean, good luck finding. There's a couple teams that actually use a fullback. Kansas City is actually yeah. one of them. Um, but, I mean, Patriots have one. Uh, I think Jacksonville has one. So, I mean, the, the days of the big, giant, you know, thumper that we used to see, that doesn't even exist. Yeah, it's almost like, um, I mean, it's going to be different when a defense would have to prepare against, against an offense that was – you know, run heavy or try to establish that type of running game because of, you know, possibly that, that front is undersized now and the, the backers would be undersized now. So, uh, you know, it's almost like why does, you know, why does Army and Navy do so well at times against teams that they play on their schedule is because, you know, teams don't, they don't, they don't prepare on a regular basis anymore against a running attack or... Do they take you know, the fullback when they should have taken the pitch? Yeah, yeah, things like that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how you survive. All right, one more, Teddy. One more, Teddy, before we get back to Don in the car. He's still on hold, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Patrick Mahomes, and you guys have spent a lot of time this week talking about it the last couple of weeks. He's doing some remarkable things. You know, Brett Favre, people are bringing up guys from the, from the past. But I'm wondering, when you switch hands and you toss the ball out of desperation with